well trained that she turned off the microphone immediately. Uh, next up, this is the first of many of these that you will hear throughout the week. So Amy is going to tell you her star story. So please give your attention to Amy. Um, my star story is a journey of learning to make connections and learning where I fit. Okay, can anyone relate? <laughs> Some of you are like, no, what are you talking about? But this is my life. Square peg, round hole. I never, ever felt like I fit growing up. I grew up in a neighborhood full of all boys. I was like the only girl my age. So I learned that feelings didn't matter. I learned that I was always going to be different. And I learned that um, I didn't fit. I never felt like I fit at all. Um, I never quite fit no matter where I went. And that kind of continued through elementary school into high school. Um, I just felt like that would go back in that guy all the time. But it helped me become what some people call that master, uh, jack of all trades, master of none. I knew enough about a lot of things to fit, to figure out how to try and fit in. But I never really knew who I was. I was just always pretending to be who I thought everyone else wanted me to be. Well, my senior year, yes, senior year, but I found the first teacher that ever made me feel connected. I was 17 years old. Until I felt like I had a place. But Mr. Drayfall um, put me in a select choir. There was 24 of us out of a school of 600 people that made that choir. And I felt like for the first time I was picked. I was chosen. And I had a place. I left for college. I went to Florida for college. And it was really cool because I got to walk away from all the expectation, all the places that I thought I had to fit. I tried out for another choir, um, and I made it. The music majors were so, so mad. The ones that didn't make it. The other ones were great. <laughs> um, by the way, I teach English, just so you, I don't do music, but I love music. Um, my freshman writing teacher told me, you're a great writer. For the first time, I heard those words come out of somebody's mouth. My favorite professor, Dr. Cotton, uh, told me, um, I don't only do this, but I'm going to hold you to a higher standard than everyone else, and I'm going to push you. I said, okay. I rise that. I take that. So, um, college is over. I go back home to Pennsylvania, all that expectation. I fall right back into all those same, same, same places. Um, Skip ahead. Let's skip ahead uh, 14 years. I'm married. I have kids. I finally decide I'm going to get a job and go back to work because I raised my kids for so long. I get a job at Mount Nittany Middle School in State College, Pennsylvania as a paraprofessional. I'm 35 years old, fighting to find my place. Um, my first year was horrible, but that's, that's a whole other story I don't have time for. I almost quit three times, um, but I finally started to find some people that um, I connected with. I, I met everybody because I get bored and so once I finished my job I would go do other people's jobs because I was bored. From the custodians to the administrators, um, I became a drama club advisor. I started to kind of find my place. In tw um, so in, oh, in 2018 I was asked to run the student work center in our school. I was still a paraprofessional. In 2020, yes, that year was the first year I became a teacher. In hybrid. That was new and interesting. Um, so I taught for one year in that and then I finally got a contract in 2021. So if you didn't find me last night, I was the one who, despite being 45 years old, I've only been teaching for four years. Um, so I learned um, that finding a connection with my coworkers and students um, was the key to um, not only from, to my success but to their success. And I learned that I couldn't be that one for everybody 
but I could create a place that helped build connection for them so that they could find their person. Last year, I was nominated um, for KTI, um, and I was super excited. Our theme was 80s night, by the way, um, if you didn't tell. Um, and uh, I was super surprised and honored to be nominated to come here. So throwing off expectations once again, I said, I'm just, I'm going to engage in this process. I'm going to do this. So I tried new things. I took photos with strangers. Um, that goose chase pretty much saved my life in KTI. It gave me a purpose and a place and a way to meet people. So save, uh, that saved me. Um, and it has taken me um, more than 40 years um, to realize that I didn't need to change myself to fit in that round hole. Uh, I just needed a different place to fit. And if you haven't seen this video, just kind of watch. Um, it's you need to find a place where the shapes fit regardless of their size and their shape. Um, and for me, KTI was that place. Look, there goes that round hole. Round, round, no, where are we going to put it? Oh yeah, it still fits there. So you got to find a place that fits you, not you don't need to change yourself to fit that place. So it's never too late to find your people. Take this week, shake off some of that expectation, try something new, take a chance. I promise you that there are people in this room that can help you become who you want to be and help you feel more connected, just like I did. So please, find your people.